My last video had generated some requests from YouTubers to do a practical demonstration of how capacitors block DC and how AC current passes through capacitors. Well, that's a real good idea. I thought about it for a while and I decided to use a bicolor LED. And all it is is two diodes, one red diode and one green diode. And the first demonstration is going to be with a battery. And here's the circuit. And the next demonstration is going to be with a AC source. Okay, here's the setup. There's the bicolor LED, red and green. And there's our DC source, six batteries. And that little transformer there is going to be our AC source. So we'll start with DC. Okay. And I'm going to make it a little darker here, too. There we go. Okay, there's our 2.2 capacitor. And here's the other end of the battery. And when I touch that, we get a flash of red. And notice that it stops. The capacitor is charged up, so now it is blocking DC. Now when I discharge it, <coughs> we'll get a green light. A little flash. Now the capacitor is discharged. And when we go back here and hook it up again, we get a flash and then it stops. Okay, I'm going to hook up our AC supply. Okay, here you can see both the green and the red are glowing because we have AC current continuously changing back and forth. Here is a closer look at the bicolor diode LED and you can see that it does alternate back and forth and due to the way that the camera records and also the compression I used it's not exactly uh, what I was hoping to get it should look more like uh, railroad crossing uh, flashing lights uh, alternating back and forth but you still get the idea it definitely is alternating back and forth <laughs> 